guys what I'm talking uh, nice and soft today now it's night uh, becoming night time as you can see but today we'll be talking about uh, traffic and hives so as you can see you can see two cones at the moment and the one back there also has hives and the little one too I'm shining my headlamp headlamp and as you maybe notice, um, just a quick warning, um, there are also fake high vis as I noticed. Um, these are, these stripes are literally just paint, they don't even work. I'm gonna place them here. You can't see them in the dark. Um, as for the... Uh, this same goes for this cone. This also has high vis. This one used to work, but um, like this one, and you got that is pro like stuff, and that all fell off, and that's why the reason this one doesn't work anymore. This one used to work, but doesn't anymore. This one has the same thingy as the other, which just works fine. But yeah. So the difference is between no no high vis. So when you're driving over there, uh, this is the no high vis cone. You don't see it. Uh, there's the bit high vis cone because uh, yeah. And then you got the uh, Amer American type cone. We have usually well Europe find them, but in America you have usually just two stripes that are stickered on it. And um, you see them, you see, you can see them really good actually. But European cones have a rule that also sometimes the red must be visible. So when you got a cone like that, um, when you look at the online for Dutch cones uh, or European cones, you will find these. But uh, sometimes uh, when you go find injection molded like these you will find them also with complete covering that's because like this it's way more visible you see the orange not really good for my far my dad uh, I had one for my before the door last week now a few, a few years back I had one for in front of my door my dad could, could see it uh, from the station, which is almost 200, 300 meters away, when you had this uh, light on. Um, the reason why they are full covered um, is because visibility. This one is a bit less because I'm a bit too lazy to just go grab a better cone. But as you notice, uh, sometimes, uh, usually, so he'll, he'll, a lot of times, these cones have fake stripes, the smaller cones, which is also the case with this one. And not this one. This one has a bit high. Yeah, this one just works fine. This one doesn't work uh, good. And that's also a reason why uh, companies throw away cones because they sometimes they got to get checked and it doesn't really work out because they don't have high vis because companies are scamming you um so that's also a thing you want to watch out for for uh, cones with stripes but that are not high vis so we got uh, same goes for this cone this cone also just painted well i don't know let's place it Let's see if it is high fish. Mm. Nope, no high fish. Uh, or no uh, reflective. So we got cone over there as reflective. Even these poles have reflective. And uh, this. Oh, Jesus, almost fell. Uh, this cone is. Oh, when you buy it new. This cone is more expensive than that cone. This cone, that cone is cheaper. And this cone, that cone still has reflective covering. So, um, it could be because it's an, this is an older cone, which I don't get because, uh, like that cone there is also really old. 
and such. And I'm actually surprised the uh, hive still works on these two. <laughs> well, because the foil came off, that usually protects them. Um, but I can show you what a oh, normal cone looks like. So the f uh, reflective covering of this one works way better. As you can see, you can see the entire cone, except the tip or the bottom, which is... Uh, Quite useful for cones. So, um, uh, it also helps is that each of these cones weighs about five kilos. And when you take four of them, you got uh, 20 kilos in one hand. So, this is the uh, cone that became sun burnt, I don't know, decolored. And this one works even better. Then red and white. Which I don't know why companies don't just make it completely white. Probably safety reasons. That's why English cones have one big stripe like this. And to show, but uh, this one, yeah, a bit broken. But still keep it um, because it's completely white, uh, completely sunburned. And that I think really cool because it's completely white. Yeah. So, uh. Also, um. My brother asked what happened to this cone. Uh, because it's burnt. I don't know if you can see it, it's burnt. Um, apparently, uh, so they used it uh, on New Year's Eve. To, they used it to launch fireworks in. They stole it from the company that used them. Probably because that company was in construction a few months back. I think they stole it, kept it in the garden, and they used it to launch firework rockets. And after that, they decided to just dump it. And, yeah, pretty sad to go. But I... Um, as you can see, the vertical, uh, I don't know, beacons are high fish too. Um, in case, yeah, don't know. So, that's what you should watch out for, uh, guys. Uh, fake high fish cones. I didn't know that's a thing. Now I luckily I now I do, but uh, company is just scamming you. <clears throat> so that was it. Please like and subscribe, and pay a visit to uh, a traffic cone jam, uh, passes and more barricade paradise, and the wet floors and toothies. And if you want to see some. Road work, road workers do their job. You should go to Ten Ten Traffic Man, which is a really fun channel to watch. Um, oh, I'm just cleaning them up. Um, I will film how I do that. You probably won't see much, but uh. Maybe I should do a video of how I stack the cones. I don't know. That was it. Please like and subscribe. Go visit the channels I named. And bye.